Now here is number six. Number six, you're given y equals one over x squared plus c as a general solution of the differential equation according to the question. And then we are told to find a particular solution that actually satisfies this initial condition. That is when x equals negative two, y equals half. Aside that, we are also told to find the interval of definition. Now to start with, let's start by finding the particular solution. Another way of writing this initial condition is by saying that when x equals negative 2, your y equals half. Now we're going to substitute these two values into the general solution that we are given so we can find a value for c. So we have y equals half, y equals half equals 1 all over x squared, x squared is going to be 4 plus c. So to find c, we cross multiply. You have 4 plus c equals 2. So from here, we have c equals 2 minus 4, which is going to be negative 2. So since our c equals negative 2, then a particular solution that satisfies this initial condition is going to be y equals 1 all over x squared minus 2. And this brings us to the next one. To find the interval of definition. So the interval of definition is actually the one that satisfies um, now y as a domain of a function. The domain of this function here is going to be all real values for which the denominator does not equal to does not equal to zero. Does not equal to zero. Now looking at the denominator here, we have x squared minus 2 it equals 0 only when x equals plus or minus the root of root of 2 so these are the only values for which y is going to be undefined and if we're going to draw it on a normal line we have something like we have negative infinity we have infinity here you have 0 you have negative root 2 you have root 2 and then these are all the things that you have. Now we need in all this interval, we need one that contains negative two. That is x equals negative two. So we have three intervals here. The first one is this, the next one is this, and then the last one is, is this. So of all of them, which one contains negative two? So you'd observe that negative two actually falls in this area here. So it falls in this area here. So because of that, we're not going to use this and we can't use this. So this is going to be the right interval that we're going to use. So hence, the interval of definition is going to be the square root of 2 comma negative infinity. This is going to be your interval of definition for this question. So we'll go to the next question. Now we're back to the second part. So the same thing, we're still going to use y equals this as a general solution of the differential equation. But this time around, we are given a different initial condition. So that is, when x equals half, y equals negative 4. So we're going to substitute all these two values into the general solution that we're given so we can find a particular value for c. So let's do that. We have negative 4 equals 1 all over x squared is going to be 1 all over 4 plus c and then when you simplify this we have negative 4 times 1 over 4 plus c equals 1 and then it's going to be the same thing as negative 1 then minus 4 times c that's negative 4 c 4 c equals 1 so this one comes to the side and you have negative 4 c equals 2 so and this implies that c equals 2 over negative 4 and that is going to be negative half and when you substitute that into that you have y equals 1 over x squared plus c which is going to be negative negative half so also like before you also told find the interval of definition so to find the interval of definition here is just going to be all values or all real values excluding excluding those that are going to make the denominator zero so to start with let us find 
the values of x that will make the denominator to be 0. So we set the denominator to be 0, and then what do you have? You have, this implies that x equals the square root of plus or minus 1 all over root 2. Or if you like, if you wish to rationalize, you have plus or minus root 2 all over 2. So all your values, excluding this value here, are the ones for which we're going to have our interval of definition. And like before, if you're going to draw that on a number line system, this is going to be minus root 2 all over 2, and then this is going to be plus root 2 all over 2, and then to demarcate this, this is going to be the first interval, and the next one, which is going to be this, while the last one, which is going to be this. Now, in all these intervals, which of them actually contains or contains this initial point here? The initial point here is x equals half. So of all the three intervals, which one contains x equals half? The one that contains x equals half is actually going to be an interval of definition. So here it does not contain x equals half. Here also does not contain x equals half, but here x equals half belongs to this interval here. So this is going to be our interval of definition. So therefore, the interval of definition equals negative root 2 all over 2, comma root 2 all over 2.